didn't hit very hard, so unfortunately, I've got a bad feeling. Yeah, he's in this planer board on the outside. Hey all, this is John Catfish Hunters TV back at you with another one. I know we haven't had a video out in a while because we've been doing a lot of live streaming uh, with some other fishermen on YouTube. So I decided I was going to do a little video today. Um, out here by ourselves, my wife stay, uh, I can't say stayed home, she worked today, unfortunately. But we're going to hit this uh, Old Creek channel. Seeing a lot of stuff on the fish finder, but we are in a uh, high pressure system, so we'll see how it is. We'll play with our speeds. We're going to be dragging, of course, uh, just trying to find fish. So today we're fishing with four, since it is just me. I'm going to be dragging three, and I've got the America rod over here suspended. He's acting like he weighs a thousand pounds, but he definitely doesn't. Right, nice little teenage fish. Got a jacked up tail too. Not as bad as that other one did. But all right, first uh, first fish of the day. All right, we've got another one on. Fortunately, he hit when the boat was going really slow. Having trolling motor issues, y'all. It's a big head bait, but it doesn't feel like anything more than a three pound fish. Doesn't look like anything more than that either. He just messed around and found the hook. Go check this motor out, y'all. All right, another little one. I'd say not even 10 pounds on this guy. So guys, just to let you know, um, Kings of the Tennessee, I guess it would be part three this year, is coming up again in, uh, uh, sorry, November 18th, 19th, 18th. I'll share the link to my page. But we will be defending our belt and Bobcat's going to be coming to try to get his back. Apparently, Daryl from Trophy Seekers Outdoor is going to be coming to try to take it from us. And he's real cocky. He thinks he's going to get it. But we're going to do our best to hold on to it. And I'd really like to ask you guys to tune in and root for us. 
There's also another one on November 4th we're going to be getting into on Brian B's channel. By the way, Kings of the Tennessee will be on Palmetto Cat's channel. Kevin's going to be hosting it for us because, like I said, Daryl wants to fish against me. Um, but there's also one on the 4th on Brian B's channel. And that one I'm still trying to figure it out. It's kind of like golf scores from what I'm understanding. If you get a fish over 50, you get one stroke. Um, small fish count for more strokes. So whoever has the fewest strokes wins. I guess that's kind of how to, how to say it. All right, hooked up again. Another little small one. So unfortunately they seem to be getting smaller. No hits on the suspended bait. Still going 0 0.4, 0 0.5. <clears throat> when I bumped it up, we haven't gotten any hits. But right around 0 0.4, 0 0.5, we seem to be getting hit. So I guess we're going to keep it around that and see how it all goes. All right, fish on again, fish on again. So we pulled some drag as soon as he took it. in the boat a little bit when he hit it. Not super big. About another the same size, but man. Smoked it like he was mad at it. little nicer I think we got another little one didn't hit very hard so unfortunately I've got a bad feeling yeah he's in this planer board on the outside Definitely in the other planter line.
This fish is definitely lassoed. Fish in the net. Alright y'all, we're in spa lock here. I'm gonna have to pull everything up and oh he is trying to roll. Pretty nice catfish, y'all. Ow. We're gonna weigh it. Just because I'm curious. I know it's not bigger than the 51 pounder. Bro, if you chill, I'll get you out. One pounds. Yeah. All right, well, like I said, I knew it wouldn't. 30.46, if you see that, um, minus the net of two and a half, so right around 28. Ugh. All right, one more time. Gave me a little splash as she left. I guess she thought I was dirty. All right, a lot of stuff to clean up, figure out where the boat's headed, all that stuff. So to me, dragging is the best way to find fish, um, find active fish, you know, and that's what we're here for. We're here to catch fish, put them on YouTube, and you know, don't want to go out here and not catch anything. But yeah, dragging, we were able to drag probably about a mile and a half, got the five fish. Um, the biggest being the last one at 20, 28-ish. Um, but yeah, man, if you have the ability and you have a trolling motor, get on the move. Really, get on the move. Um, and it's not just small fish you catch. You know, we, we busted that 51-pounder. Uh, earlier this year, numerous 40s, uh, a bunch of 30s, and then I've lost count of all the 20s and teenagers we've caught. But yeah, man, it, it leads for uh, a fun time out here, just because you're constantly doing something. All right, y'all, well, that last one was the biggest one of the day. Uh, we've kind of gone about an hour or so, maybe a little longer with no bites. Um, Wind kind of kicked up. I had to bump my speed up. When I was able to go 0 0.3, 0 0.4, control the boat, we were getting bites, um, even up to 0 0.5. But when I had to bump it up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8, even though I went over fish, we didn't end up even, like I said, getting the bite. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, as I said earlier, watch all the uh, lives. Watch out for all the lives we have coming up. I think you guys might enjoy those. Um, but once again, this is John from Catfish Hunters TV. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.